Come on, y'all. Let's get this party started. I'm running a little late. I'm telling you, if you live in McDonald, Georgia, and plan to go out and get one, maybe two things, you're going to be gone for the rest of the day. Just so you know it, if you move to McDonald, Georgia, you're going to be gone for most of the day. I'm just getting back up in here. I just had to go return some shoes. And um, that's it. But I stopped other places. You go out, you're going to make a couple stops. So you won't have to worry about going out the other days. But I had to stop and get gas and go in the store. You know you're going to walk around for a little while. I am anyway. But anyway, let's get started. We are going to do a burlap wreath today out of this burlap. Burlap, if some of you was watching me, I was telling how much you love this color I was. I got five of them from... The Dollar Tree. First time I've seen this color. I haven't even seen this color in um, Hobby Lobby or nowhere online where I usually do most of my shopping. So I had to grab it and I'm using a 14 inch. That 14 inch is my basic reform. We're going to need Chanel stem. I was out of black so I had to go to Hobby Lobby and pick up some black. Um, we're going to need some zip ties. I got these. These are 14 and a half inch. I also have some smaller ones, but I may work with this 14 inch just to see what happened. And I don't have a reef sign to put on there. So I'm going to put a nice bow. I have green and black here. So we got to do that. Somebody will like it. How is everybody doing today? So I'm going to bring it down here. It's getting pretty late. So let's get started. Let's get started. And let's hope these old goosenecks work out pretty good today. I haven't changed their position or anything. I've just been lifting them up and down. And... Okay, that old phone is in the way again. And I do have to put on my charges. Like I told you, I've been out most of the day. So my phones haven't been charging. And this is my own day. Yesterday was my off day. I just went live on my off days. Let me push this up some. I don't like to mess with these goosenecks too much because tend to get loose and want to fall down. Seems like there's got to be a better way to get that phone. I'm set up right by a window, so sometimes it may be tough trying to position it right, right by the window. So I'm going to go with that. Let's get started, y'all. How is everybody doing today? I'm excited. I, I could have came home and I came out here to say forget it, it's late. But I'm excited about making this wreath. It's 
So first what we're going to do, we're going to put these, pop these Chanel stems on there right quick. It's only 18 of them. And I like Hobby Lobby Chanel stems. They're nice and thick. So let me show a comparison. This is a nice green, too, to go with that. Look at the comparison, how thicker it is. Okay, and I think I might have got that from either Amazon or Oriental Trading. And these came from Hobby Lobby in a pack of $3.99 for a pack of, uh, where is it, 140 pieces. We had a beautiful day today compared to a couple days ago. It's been cold, just like winter was still here all over again. I don't know, when is spring? What day does spring fall on? I know if it's not spring yet, it's close. Oh, y'all can see I'm trying to go fast. We don't even have to uh, tuck this raw edges in because they kind of hem these a little bit. So we just gonna get right into it. We 
how many inches we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go 12. Let's see how it look. May have to go 10, cause burlap is different from um, mesh. So let's go 10. See how this poof gonna work. Okay. Let's do an eight just to see. Let's do an eight. Just trying to seek it. Oh, they can't even see me right there. I'm sorry. Um, what platform I'm on? I think it's Louisa Bell. I'm not doing bubble reef, so I'm doing poop. Bubble reef will take me a very long time because we'll be putting more Chanel stems in that section. So we are just doing poof because remember, we're going to add some mesh. This is a pretty color. It's a beautiful color. didn't get a chance to put my reef on my website last night, but it definitely would go tonight. I don't have to cook. I stopped and got food while I was out there. Got leftovers from yesterday. So, I got Culver's. My son got Burger King. My husband got Chinese. We all went to <laughs> three different restaurants. That took a little minute to... Okay, where you belong? You belong over here. Okay.
Now about these, um, okay, there's three, so you're in the right place. About these being so big, they'll slide over in the next section, so that's, you have to watch that. And while I was out, I saw two accidents. One of them was a five car accident. This guy ran into the back of somebody, towed his car up in the front. And uh, his car was towed up in the front and the back, but they had three other cars. I guess they ran into the back of other cars when this guy ran into him. So I know he is having a horrible day right now. And even as I was coming home, I seen another one. This is like a, a three or four cars was involved also. And I know that's a dangerous place where this last one I seen happen. You can't look off the road no type of way because they have so many turnoffs and people be breaking instantly. You can't look off, period. That's why I like to sit on the passenger side when my husband is driving, cause I like to look around and see stuff. You can't see, this one look a little big. You can't see nothing when, um, when you're driving, because you got to keep your eyes on the highway. And them last two look taller. Let's, let's measure these again. Let's just see. Yep. Ooh, I was way out there. Way out there. What's the problem? I don't never do eight inch poops, but I think this one is the most appropriate for the size of the burlap. This burlap is um, six, only six inches wide. 15 feet, six by 15. But I'm looking at the width. It'll be too big. If you make them really wide, they'll be looking sort of awkward. The poofs will be bigger than the width. Well, they bigger than the width right now, but they're not overly big. Thank y'all for joining. I appreciate it.
And what I was looking at in this burlap when I got is not only the color, but this burlap, like it's hemmed. Now, I don't like burlap when uh, it just have those frayed ends. I might can show you an example. If I have some down here. Okay, I can show you an example. This sort of, this is sort of some the way it be looking, but this is him too at the end. But it sort of look like this when they don't have a, a him in it. That's how it'll look, basically. I don't like that. I like these little neat looking burlap. Because uh, you can get burlap from different places. I ordered burlap one time when I first started out. I would never order from that company again. I don't have a piece of that out here. Because I think I got rid of it. It was worthless. And it took them forever. I think it was wholesale burlap. It took them forever to come. You know how it takes so long to get your order? You forgot you order it? That was it. And they was right here in America. Right here in America. Now, I can see if I order stuff from China. But some of China stuff come really quick, I notice. They are individual sellers just like Amazon. Some of their stuff come quick too. I haven't ordered from China in a long time. One roll was just enough for this 14 inch at 8 inches. And that is enough for a couple more. I hate to cut it. I think I'm not going to cut it either. I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to put the last one right there. That may be where my bow need to sit. You know what? I am going to go around again because it looked better, a little thicker. Yes, that's what I'm doing. I told y'all I'll be making stuff up as I go along. So in order for it to make it look a little thicker, I am going to go around twice. Now that I know how much I'm going to use. And just go around twice. To make it fuller.
Let me see how that light look. Can you turn it on when you go in there, please? Yeah, I need it. Thank y'all for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Just like you didn't want to miss anything. With the single, you don't want to miss anything with the double roll either.
And when I first started making reads, I wasn't too crazy about burlap because the, the experience I told you about the first one I bought, then I started seeing these with the hem in them. And uh, I started liking burlap. Depends on their color. I like this green buffalo check. I like the red buffalo check. They even have pink. I've seen, but I never bought the pink. I think it was pink buffalo check. It just may have been pink burlap. They have all colors. The red buffalo check came out first. And I'm hoping I don't have to add another Chanel steel. Maybe by the, the end of, um, the end of um, where I started and stopped. May have to add another Chanel stem. I need to plug my bones. Sorry about that, y'all. No, I just thought about it. Then I looked up. My iPad have a uh, low battery. As I was thinking about it, it had low battery. So let me plug it up. three of them up so I won't have to worry about it anymore. Everybody's having a great, awesome day. Thank y'all so much for joining. Thank you for joining Sean, Mac Jack, Mr. Jack. 1483 Arnold, thank you. I wish these comments be strolling up like on Facebook. Amando, thank you. Bella. Pleased to know you also, Bella. Come back and join me, okay? One day I'm just gonna do a talking because I would like to get to know you guys. Thank you for the rose, Veronica. I'll follow you back when I get off of here, Julia. I'll follow you too, Veronica. Thank you for following me, girls and uh, ladies. Thank you for the heart, Erin. Thank you for the heart, kit. This is my favorite so far. Thank you, Jennifer. I like this burlap too. Maria, I'll follow you when I get off. Thank y'all so much for joining. If I miss your name, I appreciate you just as much. I'm just trying to hurry up, y'all, because it's going to get dark soon. It's, I'm in my garage, and when they don't have the natural light, um, 
it, it just make things much complicated. I threw away my last uh, ring light, so I got to invest in me a, a really nice one. Thank y'all so much for joining me. One day I'm going to do a Q&A session with you guys. Where we ask each other questions. Or you ask me questions. I answer the ones I want to. <laughs> but uh, thank y'all so much for joining me. I see some uh, returners. Okay. And I think I'm at the end now. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put one more and that'll be it. Where's the, uh, I need to put that on the bottom. Well, yeah, I'll put two more. I'll put two more there. That one looked longer than eight inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it right here. I don't want it to look too uneven, so I'm gonna cut it. Nothing much you can do with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave these on the side because I might need to put a Chanel stem in the one that we stored and stopped. So we're going to go ahead and make us some poofs. A mesh to put on top. Let me turn my wood burner on in case I need it. That type of bird lap is so easy to mess with. And I'm gonna make these very, very short because I do not, I repeat, I do not want to cover up this beautiful burlap. Now I'm gonna go down here and try to 
close that end of that mesh off. And I forgot Bible study is tonight, too. I do online Bible study on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 8 o'clock. So, can somebody tell me what time it is? I may can see it on. Oh, okay. I got the time. Oh, I got 30 minutes. Forgot. I got my gadgets out here. And I can see the time. Now, like I said, we don't want to cover up this burlap. So, let's see. I've been marking. I've been marking. The fuller you get this, the harder it is to see your numbers. I'm making pass with eight. I can pass with, um, that's down. I got to find it up. I think I can pass with eight where all of my burlap will be showing. Yeah, I can pass with eight. I think, let's see, you might want to cover it up the more I put on here. So let's see. I mean, it's a good thing this uh, mesh have holes in it where you still can see the burlap too. If even if you still can see it, regardless, but it's a good thing you have these uh, holes in it where you can see your burlap.
Thank y'all for joining. I appreciate it. Thank you, Hammett, Paul, Mello. Thank y'all for joining. Y'all follow me on Facebook, too. Go follow, like, and share. Right now, I am on Facebook, too. I'm on two of my Facebook pages. So when I get a schedule together, you're welcome to join me over there, too. Like I said, um, when I go out, you don't never know what's going to happen in Mongo City. You can go out there and get one thing and wind up being three, four hours. But I am going to try, just like if I had a real, real job, I will be trying to make it on time. So I got to prioritize this too. Because a lot of people ask me, when do I live stream? So I got to prioritize this too. You want to be truthful and loyal to your followers. I'm loving on this. My God, I'm loving this. And y'all, I don't I make reads and I don't have nothing on my door. <laughs> I'm a cosmetologist. My hair stay messed up most of the time. They say people that's in um a career field or whatever, their thing, they be the last one done. I do not practice hair anymore. I just keep my license up to date. I would never let them expire. I don't have one single thing on my door. I'm trying, I'm kind of waiting on, on the pollen to leave. Because I have me, my patio flowers all made up. I don't know whether you saw that video, but I was uh, showed you how to do my uh, patio flowers. Because Georgia have some real high, high wind. It is this thing still saying, it's all 10 now if it did that. Oh, 4%. It charged up. Why it will not charge. Oh, y'all, I don't even have it plugged up. I forgot that, um, where's the end? Oh, I forgot my iPad. And let me see which one I need. I need to unplug this. I forgot my iPad. Cannot plug into the jack that uh, I plugged my phones in. So it wasn't even plugged up. I forgot, it had to be plugged on its own little connection. So it should be good now. too long. And this is the second time I done got a man's shoe from Coach. I had to bring my Coach shoes back today. If y'all been watching me, you remember I had to bring some back last week. When you're on their website, I always go to the Coach Outlet. They got one in my little city. Not my city, but the next city over. I go about 15, 20 minutes away from here. And um, on their website, you go in the women's section. 
You in the women's section, right? You are the shoes in the women's section. Because I'm just finding out the D is for men and the B is for women. They don't specify. And I'm thinking I'm good. Because I'm under the women. And uh, so when they ship, uh, give me a confirmation for shipping. That's when they specify that it's a D. Oh, I got so mad. I called out late. I even hung up on the lady because you know how them uh, customer service people be thinking they so smart and they know the business inside and out. I'm telling you, lady, it's not there. I was in the women's section. I'm telling you. And I'm just tired because she was going back and forth with me. And I just hung up on and went over there today. And the girl that was there today, she said that happened to them, too, ordering shoes for the store. So some some people just don't like to be wrong. They think they know it all. And you trying to explain to her what happened, and she still don't get it. So I just hung up. I said, I go over there. But this lady said the same thing happened to them. The person that was ordering shoes. They was ordering lady shoes and they all was coming in men. So, but um, I never had that problem before. I didn't order some dresses shoes. Now that they making men shoes just like the women's shoes, that's when they start having that problem. But dress shoes, I ordered some dress shoes for a wedding back in December. And of course, you know the men ain't gonna wear them, those kind of shoes. Well, anyway, most men wouldn't wear that, so they know that's for a woman. So they got that right. But uh, just for your information, watch when you order a coach online and trying to order a tennis shoe. Well, there's no way I can tell you to be careful because I ordered it in the, in the latest size and, and in the latest section. And they sent me a man's shoe. And this is the second time I had to go in there and uh, exchange my shoe. And luckily they had it because you know coach run out of their shoes really quick. Especially if they pretty. And that's what I told the lady when I walked up in there and I told her about my experience on the phone. I say, suppose I was trying to get my shoes to get ready to go somewhere and I had a time frame and this is happening to people. So they supposedly put in, put in something to let them know, write it in a notes or whatever. And sometimes they'll tell you they doing something, they ain't doing nothing. But that's just for your information. If you happen to order tennis shoes, online from Coach Outlet. Be very careful. And then I guess you can call and order too, but I just like to sit down and take my own little time and order what I want to order without calling anyone. You give somebody all your credit card numbers and stuff, and they're going to took your number. I don't like to order through customer service. I like to order myself. And it's just in the convenience of your home. You don't have to get in your car and go anywhere. And they're getting your order wrong. You got to go anyway. So. But I was lucky both times to find my shoe. I think like I missed one, and I did. Oh, 
how much time I got. I think I'm going to have to make that bowl with you guys tomorrow. I got to go to Bible study. So I will make that bowl for this tomorrow. And I will burn my end. I didn't even get a chance to burn my ends off the other reef last night. So I got to burn the ends so I can put it on my website. So this is what I would do tomorrow. Because I'm not going to come back. It'll be too late. But Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, I'll be live on DK3 Reef and Things. I'll be live on Vigo, and I'll be live on Val Louisa. Couldn't find one for right there, but I need to put one right here. Excuse me. Where I'm putting my shit nail stems and now that's where the really, really short ones was.
come back and you can fluff them really good and just make it burlap stand out. And when I'm putting reeves up on my website, I like to put up two anyway, so I have enough for at least another wreath. I remember this, this time this guy had ordered a wreath. I guess it was, it may have been a lady, but it was in a it was in a foreign name, so I don't know whether it was a lady or a man. But it, I just every time I look at that name, it just put me in a mind of a man um and i thought i had that reef i looked it high and low and um i sold the reef and forgot to take it off of my website oh my god and then it was at the closing time when i got that order in i couldn't wait till the next day to go somewhere and try to find that pattern of that ribbon and I said, oh, Lord, I went to, what, I went to Hobby Lobby first in my town. I went to Michael's, and then I wound up going to, uh, was it Conyers, Georgia, Coverton? One of them places I went, I think it was Coverton, and I found it. I, found, I got every last one of them, too. They're back on my shelf back there, but... Um, I went everywhere, look high and low. It took me about two hours to, at least a good hour and a half to look for that reef, and I couldn't find it nowhere. So I ran and I ran and I ran, and I finally found it. I was so happy because that pattern was hard to find, and I think that pattern had just came out last year. But I found I was one happy person. I mean, I was all over. I would have went to Morrow, Georgia, if I had to. <laughs> but I pay very attention. Now, when I sell one, I make sure if I don't have any more. But when I set it on my website, I usually set it. And um, if it's one left, it usually set itself. But somehow it didn't set itself because I normally, you know, automatically, you know, do inventory. But it didn't do it that time. But I found it, but I would never want to go through that ordeal again. But I'm going to fluff it out where it would be really pretty and, and showing this, uh, this burlap. Can't hide this pretty burlap. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all the results of what y'all looking, but I'm going to stand it up so y'all can see it really good. And I could have even went. But I'm going to fix a way where you can, I like it better like that, where you just kind of like tuck it up. Don't let it show all of that. That um don't hide the barrel out. So we want most of that showing. They can't call me anyway because I got my airplane mode on. I usually join myself, but if they don't see you joining, they'll call you.
And I don't want to manipulate my mesh too much and start fraying. I haven't seen one since, uh, I haven't seen one since I started. But when I start moving this around and stuff, that's when I seen it. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> yes, I am back. So proud of my goosebacks right now. Did I say it too loud? Well, well anyway, hey y'all back. This is it. I, I don't have time to make my bow, but I'm gonna make a beautiful bow for this. And that's all it's gonna have on it because the burlap says everything. Look at that beautiful pattern. But I'm gonna do some more shaping. Bringing that burlap out. But this is the outcome of it, y'all. Let me go ahead and um, follow these people that follow me today. While they're there, I'm going to go ahead and follow them. Ooh, hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Brad. Hey, Winky. Hey, Kwanzaa. Thank y'all so much for joining. Jay Tuck, thank you. I'm looking for these people that followed me. Thank y'all so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Okay, Maria, I'm about to follow you. I followed you, Maria. Aaron, send a, thank you, Aaron. Thank you, kid. I think I told y'all before. Veronica, I'm going to follow you. Thank you so much. Julia, I'm going to follow you. Thank you so much. So y'all go to my Facebook page. Same name. Let's go to Facebook. Look me up. Pleased to know you too, Bella. I may have said that before. But thank y'all so much for joining me. I really appreciate this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be, I will be live tomorrow. Tomorrow's my off day, but I will be live. So y'all come on in and join me. I will be live. I don't have to cook tomorrow. I do need to fold some laundry. But that shouldn't take all day. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. And I will see you. Let me take, let y'all take one more glimpse. And we're going to fix a big, pretty bow for this tomorrow. I don't think it, it don't need any clusters to take away from that burlap. So we just got to put a nice, pretty bow on it tomorrow. So y'all come back and join me. I say, um, let's do this at three o'clock, three o'clock. Because I don't like to be here at night. This, um, Era of lighting is not so good. I might have to baby my husband up to put me some more light inside here, some more sockets. We got a electrician that stay right down the street for him from us. So I'm gonna try to talk him into it. He don't like to do no alterations and stuff, but something gotta happen. All right, y'all. Good night. Love you guys. Bye.